Welcome back to another look. Today we'll have a book review. The book is The Cat Who Could Read Backwards by Lillian Jackson Braun. Now, I had seen a number of these books being sold on the streets. And in fact, I have one, I think, one other one other than this one. The Cat Who Came to Breakfast, I think. Now, of course, from the title, the series of books, and each of them is titled The Cat Who Did Something or Other. So it suggested to me, or it made me think, that the main character of the book is a cat, which made me think that it's not really a, they're not really serious books, or maybe they are children's books. So I was hesitant to read them. So I've been having the one that I had for quite a while, I think a number of years. This one I bought a few months ago. Now I had finished the books I was reading, well I had others to read, but I decided to pick up this one and give it a try, having read on the internet someone saying that they're actually good for all ages, not just for kids. So I decided to give it a try. And actually the book is very good. It's captivating, it is witty, it's a murder mystery, but even before you get to the murder, the story is quite interesting. It, it goes along. It's not one of those books that you, you read and you think, when does the action start? It's very interesting to read. It's nice. It's delightful. So if you see these books being sold on the streets or wherever you buy books, go ahead and buy one if you like murder mysteries. It's a very nice book. It's a, This particular one is 250 pages, thereabouts. It's 250 pages. And uh, this particular one, I don't know about the others, this particular one is set in a, a time where they were using typewriters and tape recorders. In case you have an issue with that, maybe you want something more modern or something older. To address the concerns I had, one, the main character is not a cat. There's a cat in the story, but the cat is not the main character. The main character is human. Secondly, in my opinion, this book is meant for adults. It's not a children's book. I guess a teenager could read it, or maybe yeah, a teenager or someone of that age upwards could probably read it and probably enjoy it, but it's not a, a children's book as, as I thought originally. That's it for this one. It was very nice. I really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to reading the other one I have, and I'll be buying more when I see them in the street. Have you read any of the books in this series? What is your opinion on the book? Please share with us in the comments. Thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe. See you in the next video.